Good afternoon, viewers. Your teacher is Dr. Bosa Science. Today, we are going to look at group three elements. Members of group three elements include boron, the symbol is capital B, aluminium, the symbol is capital A, small L, gallium, the symbol is capital Gallium, the symbol is capital G, small a. Indium, the symbol is capital I, small n. Then thallium, thallium, the symbol is capital T, small l. Boron is a nanometer. Aluminium, gallium, indium, and thallium are metals. This is all boron. When boron is added to grasses, it makes them resistant to heat. Boron is essential nutrient. Sodium tetraborate or borax is used to standardize HCl. Tetraborate plus hydrochloric acid to get sodium chloride plus boric acid. Aluminium is a light, strong, malleable, and ductile metal. Malleable, it can be made into sheets. Ductile, it can be made into wires. It is used for electric cables, saucepans, tinnies, airplane, containers, and name it. Extraction of aluminium, the ore is called bauxite or aluminium oxide with variable amount of water. The major impurities is silicon dioxide or silica or silicon dioxide. And iron solids. So the principle in the extraction of aluminium involves the removal of impurities from the ore and then reducing the ore by electrolysis to a metal. Steps in extraction of aluminium. The ore is heated to remove water or to dry it and also to convert iron salts into iron free oxide. Then the powdered ore is heated with concentrated sodium hydroxide to dissolve the ore and the silica such that the insoluble iron free oxide is filtered off. So aluminium will react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium aluminate. Silicon dioxide will react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium silicate, both of which are soluble in the water. Then the insoluble iron free oxide is filtered off. Free to the filtrate, little aluminium hydroxide is added to precipitate or to seed out aluminium hydroxide. Alternatively, carbon dioxide is powered through the filtrate to precipitate aluminium hydroxide. Aluminate plus carbon dioxide, you get aluminium hydroxide, which is a solid, plus sodium carbonate, which is soluble, and water. Sodium silicate remains in the solution. So when you filter out aluminium hydroxide from solution, we are able to separate aluminium hydroxide from the impurity which was sodium silicate. Four, aluminium hydroxide is filtered and heated to produce pure aluminium oxide. So aluminium hydroxide, you heat, you get aluminium oxide. Five, electrolysis to obtain aluminium. Cardiolite, which is sodium aluminium fluoride, is added to the ore in order Reduce the melting point from 2,500 to 900 
which saves the fuel and to improve the conductivity of the ore. Then the aluminium is obtained on graphite cathode, aluminium ions plus free electron, you get aluminium. Then you are able to extract pure aluminium from bauxite. A reaction with nanometers, aluminium reacts with oxygen, sulfur, nitrogen, halides to form oxides, sulfide, nitride, and halide in that order. Aluminium plus oxygen, you get aluminium oxide. Aluminium plus sulfur, you get aluminium sulfide. Aluminium plus nitrogen, you get aluminium nitride. Aluminium plus fluorine, you get aluminium fluoride. A fluoride and an oxide are predominantly ionic, while others are predominantly covalent. Motima pe guti tirira Motima kwanza kusinge Azali baba kungu Motima kwanza kusinge Yakuzi baburundi Motima kwanza kusinge Atambula burundi Chiri ba chitiango no sura na ye. No motima kwanza kusinge. Gatulia na ye. Wenja kala. No motima kwanza kusinge. Owa moya kabutia, owa wuzi wubutia, ono trufa na ye. Ono ya wasinga Wenja kala No motima kwange Kwe kusinge Yono yono Wenja kala No motima kwange Kwe kusinge Yeye yeye Wenja kala No motima kwange Kwe kusinge O motima kwe kute Terira Ula mukwe buta ambulira Owa butiti butia Owa kwa kakutia Ono ndifa na ye Era ndifa na ye Walonji kwenonze Winja kala No motima kwange Kwekusine Walonji kwenfira Winja kala No motima kwange Kwekusine Mubala kavu murunji Reaction with water, aluminium reacts slowly with water to form aluminium dioxide and hydrogen. The insolubility of aluminium dioxide stops further reaction. Practically, aluminium does not react with water. That's why many authors will write that aluminium has no reaction with water. But when aluminium is clean and you put it in water, there will be some reaction to form 
aluminium hydroxide. Reaction with acids, aluminium does not react with nitric acid because it forms insoluble aluminium oxide layer. It reacts with dilute acids to form solutes, aluminium plus the acid will get aluminium solutes and water. It reacts with the hot concentrated sulfuric acid to form aluminium sulfate, sulfur dioxide and water. So aluminium plus sulfate ion plus the acid you get aluminium sulfate, sulfur dioxide and water. Reaction with sodium hydroxide. Aluminium reacts with the hot concentrated sodium hydroxide to form soluble complex. Aluminium plus hydroxide plus water, we get sodium aluminate plus hydrogen. Chloride of aluminium, it can be prepared by reacting aluminium with chlorine or reacting aluminium with hydrogen chloride gases. The structure of aluminium chloride is Aluminium chloride, these are dative bonds. These two are dative bonds. This one is a normal covalent bond. Hydrolysis of aluminium salts. Aluminium salts hydrolyze in water to form acidic solution. So, aluminium plus water, we get aluminium hydroxide and hydrogen. Consequently, due to formation of hydrogen ion is aluminium solution turn the mass paper red, also liberate carbon dioxide from carbonates. The question will be what is observed when sodium carbonate solution is added to aluminium chloride solution. We get a favor sense due to evolution of carbon dioxide and also we get what PPT due to formation of aluminium hydroxide. So the observation would be effervescence and a white precipitate. Then the equation would be aluminium plus carbonate plus water, you get aluminium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide. Aluminium oxide, It is prepared by heating aluminium in oxygen or by heating aluminium hydroxide. Aluminium oxide is amphoteric. We said an amphoteric compound is one which reacts with both acids and bases. So aluminium oxide reacts with acid to form salt or reacts with sodium hydroxide to form aluminate ions. Qualitative analysis of aluminium, it forms a white PPT soluble in excess sodium hydroxide, like lead 2 and zinc 2 ions. So the equation is here. 2, it forms a white PPT soluble in excess ammonium solution, which distinguishes it from zinc. Zinc forms the white PPT soluble in excess ammonia solution. But also lead forms the white PPT in soluble in excess ammonia. So to distinguish aluminium from lead, then we use a negative test. We put potassium iodide, we get no zero change with aluminium or a yellow PPT with lead. For more videos, you go to YouTube put in digital teachers Uganda then you will see more videos in chemistry if you want to join the best school in for sciences at secondary level you come to science foundation college at Chiwanga 0753807709 also on digital teachers website we have notes for chemistry exams and name it. Please subscribe to get current videos to enable our website to be recognized.